Hey, what's happening, YouTubers? Hey, it's Comic Cutter 1014 coming at you with a contest entry for my boy. He's got freaking issues uh, as far as 100 subscriber contest. Uh, yeah, I just want to say congrats. Uh, you know, Daryl, you uh, you have an amazing channel, buddy. Uh, I love watching all your videos, all your hauls, especially all those Audi ground off uh, variant hulks. Oh my gosh, man! So such a beautiful cover, <laughs> and you have five of those in your collection oh my gosh that's amazing bro uh, i love that uh, that 181 hulk i mean every time i see you know youtubers you know show that book in their videos i'm like oh god uh hopefully one day i'll be able to have one myself you know uh but anyways just uh just want to say congrats uh you know buddy for uh, uh hitting your 100 subs i don't know why you're not at, at above 100 you know i mean you're sure you're pretty close to 200 by now uh but anyways uh, let's go ahead and get on with the contest rules his rules are uh, must be subscribed to him. I am 18 years older. I am way older. <laughs> shout out to whoever. Uh, I'm going to shout out the uh, the guys who uh, first uh, showed their support uh, to me when I first uh, you know started out the YouTube community, and that's you know uh, the Doom 143, Alex the Comic Quarter, uh, Freddy's 562. Those three guys were the main guys who showed their support you know in the very beginning you know uh, uh, you know when I first entered into the community. So I just want to say thank you guys. Uh, you know, for the, your continued support. I also got, you know, I, you know, <clears throat> mentioned, <clears throat> was it the, excuse me, guys, I have, I'm, I actually have the, the, the flu, so. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> well, anyway, uh, the Walking Jedi, you know, J Punish 7, uh, SPT Killer Wood, uh, The Contender, Seeking Near Mint Comics, uh, Master X Splinter, who else? Drasher's Comics, uh, Richards, uh, you know, uh, Leonard, uh, well, not, oh, Leonard, uh, well, Leonard, you know, <laughs> you guys know him, Leonard, uh, who else, uh, there's Marvin's uh, 88, uh, well, I guess, Mercenaut and uh, Lightning 2288, and, uh, <clears throat> who is it, uh, my boy Thievel, uh, you know, uh, that's Lord of the, Lord of the, Lord of the Longbox, yes, uh, those, uh, I, I mean, I'm sure I'm missing a lot of guys, I just want to say apologize, I can't, <laughs> I can't think straight right now, my mind's kind of cluttered. Uh, but uh, you know, I just want to give a big shout out to all those guys as well too, you know. Uh, QB QB Comics Attic, yes. Uh, yeah, I know how to forget somebody. Uh, so, anyways, this is my shout out to uh, to those to those guys, and uh, they're all great YouTubers. They all have great channels. Uh, they're amazing, uh, you know, individuals themselves, you know. So, uh, so if you guys don't know any of them, hit them up or look them up. A little bit about yourself and your favorite pastime. A little bit about myself. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm an in-house graphic designer for a large engineering firm here in Atlanta. I've been with the company for a little over ten. Well, but just about ten years. I hit my ten-year mark, so that's <laughs> big. Big props for me. A big congrats for me because that's the longest I've ever been with one company. Uh, yeah, I, I do like a lot of the marketing material stuff. I do trade show banners. I do a lot of you know brochures, uh, ads. Uh, you know, quarter page ads, half page ads, full page ads, um, <clears throat> business cards. Uh, you know, pretty much anything you can think of, I do pretty much. And I'm the I'm the only one guy in my office taking care of two offices really. You know, it's probably about over three or four hundred employees I got to take care of. You know, their needs. So I, I'm I'm pretty busy at times. You know, but I do enjoy my job. Uh, I love to I enjoy working with the people I'm with. Uh, you know, so I have a great supervisor. Um, yeah, man, it's it's not too far from my house either. It only takes me 15 minutes to get to work, so uh, that's really a, a bonus for me. <clears throat> so let's see, favorite pastime. My favorite pastime would be, uh, you know, of course, drawing. I love to draw. I don't do it enough. I need to do more of it. Uh, I love to draw like superheroes. You know, my favorite characters to, to draw are, you know, of course, Batman and Spider-Man, which you see right there on my boards. <clears throat> uh, let's see what else. Uh, I really, uh, you know, I, I enjoy watching the UFC. That's one of my favorite pastimes, actually, you know, um, <clears throat> besides drawing. Uh, you know, I love, uh, you know, getting together with some friends or my fiance, you know, and uh, we just have a couple of beers, watch some fights. You know, the guys that I, I enjoyed watching, uh, you know, when I first started watching it, you know, was Vitor Balfour, Randy Couture, Chuck Liddell, uh, you know, um, and some of the, just some of the, you know, the, the few that I watched early on. Uh, then later on, you know, the time progressed, you know, all these up-and-comers, you know, like, you know, Anthony Pettis, uh, Benson Henderson, Anderson Silva, uh, you know, GSP, and now my boy Conor McGregor, man, that guy's to talk about the whole, I mean, he's he's all over the place, man. He's supposed to fight, you know, Mayweather, man. If that, if that thing happens, that's going to be the biggest fight ever. Uh, so be on the lookout for Conor McGregor, man. He's blowing up this uh, UFC. He's blowing up, the, you know, the, the whole sports industry, you know, in general, man. But... <clears throat> Uh, so anyway, uh, that's that'd be my favorite pastime. Now, 
what got you into co into collecting? Um, <clears throat> I started out back in 1992. Uh, you know, I, like I said, I was uh, thinking of uh, you know a major to take in you know into college and you know what I wanted to be and you know I, since I enjoy drawing, you know I started I found myself you know you know getting a <clears throat> excuse me guys and gals. Uh, you know, going towards more the comics. You know, I, I, you know, found this comic store not too far from where I lived in Fresno, California. Yay, West Coast baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I would go in there, and first time I entered this comic store, I saw all the books on the rack. I'm like, oh my gosh, I was blown away by all the art. And like I said, some of the artists I was drawn to, you know, were all the ones who, uh, you know, uh, formed Image Comics. You know, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, Mar I mean, Tom McFarlane, Jim Lee. Rob Liefeld, Eric Larson, you know, uh, Mark Silvestri, uh, Turner, Campbell. I mean, I know those guys were a part of it. I mean, they didn't form it, but they were a part of it. Um, you know, all those guys, man, they're, I just loved uh, watching their, you know, the books that, that came out that they had, that, that they were working on, you know. That's what, uh, you know, that's what got me into collecting, you know. Was not, it wasn't for, you know, you know, the prices or, you know, or nothing like that. Or I mean, not the prices, but, you know, what I can get for the book, it was just w what I could you know, what, what kind of, you know, inspiration I can get from, you know, looking at, you know, the, you know, each and every artist, you know, the drawings and, you know, their techniques, you know, and, and I just, I would just sit there, you know, for hours just, you know, looking at, especially Tom McFarlane's work, I mean, just beautiful artwork, man, I mean, his line work, I mean, just uh, his movement, you know, he had the, you know, he had the body position, especially with Spider-Man, you know, series is doing, oh my gosh, man, it was just, uh, I mean, I was in awe every time I would pick up a book, I was like, oh my God, I can see, I can sit there for hours watching, just looking, just kind of breaking down their, you know, their artwork, you know. <clears throat> so that's what got me into collecting in the first place was just, you know, the artwork itself. Uh, and then later on became the, an investment, you know. Uh, so, but I still pick it up for the artwork, you know. Uh, but now with YouTube, <laughs> I pick up anything I see you guys posting, man. So, uh, like I said, I'm not very, uh, I'm not, I'm not up to date on the specs or, you know, key issues or not. I was, if it wasn't for you guys and YouTube community and finding you guys here, or guys and gals, uh, I probably would not have the collections I have now. Um, so thank you all, you know. <clears throat> all right, I don't want this thing to, to drag on too long. Uh, so sorry about that, guys. Uh, comic book horror story. <clears throat> I don't know if I have a horror story because, you know, I got into collecting kind of late. So nothing like my mom threw out my, you know, comic collection or sold it at a garage sale, you know, or my ex. Well, that could happen, but that didn't happen. <clears throat> well, almost kind of, yeah. Okay, so the story that I, I consider a comic book horror story. A few years ago, as I was trying to buy a house with a, a, a you know, <clears throat> I was trying to buy a house and... And I had to make a little bit of extra cash, so I started getting rid of most of my comic book collection, you know. And I had some pretty cool books, you know. <laughs> so I had New Mutants '98 that I had purchased on eBay for 40 bucks back in the day, uh, and then I also found a NYX at a comic store that I paid three bucks for. Uh, I sold both of those for 45 dollars, you know, each. Uh, and on the NYX, I was like, yeah, that's a great profit, you know. <laughs> so and little did I know, <laughs> you know, a few years later, you know. Um, I would, uh, you know, be kicking myself in the ass. Uh, you know, New Mutants, I was able to, to pick up another one for a decent price. The NYX, I don't know if I'll be able to get that for anything less than 300 bucks. I mean, the way it's going, the rate is going right now. So I guess those will be my two horror stories. I mean, my, yeah, my two horror stories are a horror story. Uh, you know, I bought them for a decent price, flipped them, um, made a little bit of money, I guess, at the time. But didn't realize that the books are good at value as they go up, in, I mean, out the, you know, out the roof, you know. So, <laughs> so that will be my horror story. Uh, show your favorite books. All right, so my favorite artist back in the day, I, well, one of my favorite artists would be you know Michael Turner, uh, and uh, you know when I saw his work on Civil War, uh, you know the variant covers, I was like, oh my gosh, to have all the, I have Civil War number one here. This is an awesome flipping cover. Look at this shit, man. You have Wolverine, you have Iron Man, you have Captain America front and center with a shield. You have Spider Man right there. You have She Hulk. You have all these characters. Oh my God! Beautifully done by one of the very best, you know, in the comic book industry, you know. And so, I mean, who, who can't? I mean, who doesn't love, you know, Michael Turner's artwork, man? I mean, I'm sure there's probably some of you, <laughs> but uh, I mean, who can't be, uh, you know, just uh, in awe, you know, of the artwork itself, you know? So, this is one of my favorite covers of all time, right here, you know. Uh, well, not one of. I mean, it's it's, it's a it's an amazing cover, you know, by one of uh, my favorite, uh, you know, artists, right here, Michael Turner. So that, you know, that'd be one. <clears throat> uh, this would be two. That's an amazing cover as well. Too. Although the way Iron Man, you know, just looks right there. It's badass. <clears throat> uh, 
It's three. This is this is probably my favorite cover of all time right here. I wish I had a sketch variant of it. Uh, that one I'm working on, guys and gals. <laughs> but I don't know if it's gonna happen anytime soon. But anyways, yeah, this is a this is amazing. I say I got this one off eBay for I think thirteen bucks or so. <clears throat> Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, Civil War number five, yeah. So I'm missing, I believe I'm missing four and six right now at the moment, so. <clears throat> Isn't that, look at that Punisher right there, look at badass. Alright, and this is last but not least the Civil War, uh, you know, it's going to be number seven. This is, I mean, look at all those flipping, you know, superheroes going head to head, man. I mean, what is beautiful dynamic cover right there. Captain America and Iron Man, shit, throwing down, whoo wee, that's flipping amazing. Alright, so my favorite variant, you know, I really didn't know what my favorite variant was, so I just went ahead and picked up, you know, these these two, uh, I'm sure you guys know what they are, Deadpool, Mark with a Mouth, uh, the second variant, uh, so the Rob Liefeld covers, uh, I love the way Rob Liefeld drew this chick. God dang it. <laughs> it's sticking. Uh, I have the second and third variant right there. So, yeah, man. I just, I mean, I love Deadpool. You know, he's one of one of my favorite characters as well, too, you know. Uh, and, you know, Rob Liefeld is one of my favorite artists. Uh, so, to have both these in my collection, you know, it's, oh, man. I mean, I got the, I bought the second one off of eBay. Um, and shortly after I bought that one, I think I paid like seven bucks at the time. Um. Actually, I, then I came across saw the third printing. What third printing? What the hell? I think I got that one for five bucks. So, yeah, man. So I mean, if uh, Lady Deadpool ever shows up, I mean, I think these will probably go up in price even more. Uh, and I, I, there might be a Lady Deadpool. I don't know coming up in the next movie. I don't. I, I don't know. That's just my speculation. I don't think so. But uh, anyway, like I said, uh, you know, she's a. It's 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 a badass cover, you know, by uh, you know uh, an amazing artist. I, I think anyway. And look, he's drawing feet right there. Feet look pretty good, look decent. Shit. <laughs> well, anyways, guys and gals, this is my contest entry for uh, He's Got Freaking Issues 100 Sub Contest. Uh, if you guys don't know who he is, go and look him up. Check him out. He's got amazing books. I mean, you will not be disappointed. I guarantee you, man. <laughs> All right, man. Once again, Daryl, congrats on hitting 100 subs, brother. Uh, and like I said, I got some books coming to you, man. Like I said, I've been, I just got the flu. I got hit with it yesterday or Wednesday, so. I'm, not, I'm under the weather right now, uh, but hopefully I'll get these books out the next week sometime to you. <clears throat> so I'll send you uh, photos as well. Anyways, guys and gals, <laughs> like I said, oh yeah, he does press me as well too. So if you guys need your books pressed or cleaned, uh, you know, he he's the man to, to hit up. Yeah, so, All right, guys and gals, my contest entry. All right, this Comic Country sign off. Cheers, everybody.